Hey yo, WWE SmackDown, July 28, 2023. Overall, I ain't gonna lie, this was a painfully mad show. Um, <laughs> like, we're one week away before SummerSlam, and I feel like if we're talking which shows have been doing the, the better build for SummerSlam, which, by the way, my predictions for that show comes out tomorrow, but I feel like Monday Night Raw has done a little bit of a better job in terms of building-wise for SummerSlam. Like, obviously, Roman and Jay with their storyline has been good, but let's just get into the show. Roman and Jay kicked off the show. This was a really good segment here. Roman pretty much saying, like, Jay, like, the only reason why you're called the right-hand man, you know, main event Jay Uso, it's because of me. Like, all this is because of me, dude. Like, like you are the reason why your brother is out of action, not me. So, Roman doing his ultimate gaslighting, like always. But Jay was like, dude, like, I beat you at Money in the Bank. Um, I'm going to beat you again. It's a really good opening segment. Rey Mysterio versus Santos Escobar. This was the finals of the U.S. Uh, title to see who would face Austin Theory. And, again, like I said, this is a painfully met. Uh, episode of SmackDown, this match, in my personal opinion, was really boring. Um, it, it got, it, I thought it was going to pick up the pace towards the end, but that's the problem. They got to the end, Ray, poor thing, he got injured, and uh, the referee had to call the match, so Santos Escobar won, and in two weeks, not SummerSlam, not the night before SummerSlam, but the Friday after, most likely, um, he will face Austin Deere for the United States Championship. and uh, But if we're talking from a match standpoint, I ain't going to lie. I thought it was really boring. Like, the motion and style of pacing was very slow. And, uh, yeah, that, that's just kind of how I felt about the match. No, no, you know, no disrespect, obviously. But it is really boring, in my opinion. L.A. Knight took on Ashante Adonis of Hit Row. L.A. Knight, man, that dude is hilarious, bro. He would, honestly, if I was hit row, I would just walk away from at this point. I mean, he freaking roasted the absolute heck out of hit row tonight. Like, I'm not going to say word for word what he said, but it, <laughs> it was funny. I ain't going to lie. L.A. Knight won, man. This was really good for him, obviously. Um, Bianca Belair and Charlotte Flair took on Sonya Deville and Chelsea Green in a tag team match play and surprisingly, because heading into the match, I was like, this is about to be boring. But this was actually pretty solid. Like, despite losing, I thought Sonya Deville and uh, Chelsea Green, they were able to hold their their own here. Um, but obviously losing to Bianca Belair and Charlotte Flair. And uh, rightfully so, you know what I'm saying. But Belair and Charlotte arguing, obviously not getting well together as a team. Uh, the next match was Carl Anderson versus Karrion Cross. This was really just a message to AJ Karrion uh, through Karrion Cross. Um, Carl Anderson got a few shots in, but it didn't matter because, again, Karrion Cross ended him. You know what I mean? And then the LC came down after the match. So I, this this feud between AJ and Karrion Cross is is far from over. You know what I mean? So. Uh, Roman Reigns, not Roman Reigns, but he did watch the main event because we saw main event Jey Uso come out and he took on Grayson Waller. This is actually, this is not a bad main event whatsoever. Um, the ending, you know, to continue up the build for SummerSlam, I thought was really good. But um, yeah, this is a pretty good match. I mean, Grayson Waller, you know, once again, in the main event of SmackDown, you know, first edge, now main event Jey Uso. So once again, a good rub for Grayson Waller, but um, overall, I just thought this SmackDown was painfully mad. Um, outside of the Roman stuff, really the Roman stuff, you know, LA Knight. Um, yeah, there's really nothing else to this show. Uh, like I said, my SummerSlam predictions will be coming out tomorrow, so uh, go check it out if you can. Uh, continue to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. This has been the Kid DC Wrestling, and uh, I'll see y'all the next time, man. Peace.